Hi everyone, I'm J.D. Huvener, your host of The Bold Today Show, where you, the inventor, entrepreneur, and business owner, get your daily dose of inspiration to make the world a better place. All right, we're in part five of our flying animal theme, and I wanted to search high and far across the animal kingdom to find a really cool example. And the funnest one was an animal that actually can't fly, but it falls with style. This is the flying squirrel. Okay, so you've seen these animals, perhaps you can picture the image right away. Uh, these fl flying squirrels, the specific um, uh, part of their body that connects the, with the air, connects their wrist to their body, and it's sort of like a membrane, and they're able to do amazing things. Uh, my research finds that they're able to fly up to 300 feet, and they can turn 180 degrees in the air uh, while they fall, in essence, and glide through the air. Pretty impressive. And so I do group them in the group of flying animals. So uh, what we can learn from a uh, flying squirrel and apply to your daily business life is that they do indeed fall with style. And so I encourage you on your challenge today is to think about failing, right? When you go for it and just stumble, right? You fall on your face, you make a big mistake, take ownership, right? Say, yep, yeah, that was me. And you know, when you, when you do that, you, you can fail with, uh, and stay cool while you're doing it. Say, look, you know what? We're gonna learn from these mistakes and move on. So make like a flying squirrel today. So I wanted to look at the invention, you know, um, humans constantly try to be these flying creatures and have an endeavor to do so. And so I look back a little bit uh, as to the single engine jetpack inventions. So here it is. This invention was by Mosier uh, in 2002. Put this pad together in this pretty amazing looking jetpack. There's lots of different jetpack inventions, but I like this one uh, because it showcased you know, the, the huge fans at the bottom and really putting in a lot of different technology uh, into their written description. So make sure to take a look at this, pull up the patent number and read through it with me. When you do, I want you to focus on the written description. And per 35 USC 112, section 112, the written description requires that just one version of the invention be described. And this is the one embodiment rule. Embodiment means it's a fancy word for just one, uh, one example, right? What is one working example of your invention? And how does it get described? So that's all that's required in the spec. But a good application, as you'll see this one does, goes into great detail about how in fact you could make it. What are other alternatives, other types of propulsion mechanisms in this case, that could make this invention work better. So have a look at the written description of this invention uh, and uh, let me know if you have any questions at all. Feel free to put in our comments below. I'd be happy to read those and get back to you. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And thanks for joining the Bold Today Show. I'm your host, J.D. Hoovener. And go big, go bold. Go big, go bold at boldip.com.